how's it going? Thank you very much for joining me. It is a momentous occasion that you've joined me on. This is my first ever solo wild camp. What a great setting for it. I'm uh, equal parts nervous and excited. It's just taken me about 45 minutes to get here. It's about a mile and a half from the car. So I'm not too far out, but I am uh, far enough to be slightly uncomfortable. And there's quite a lot of people around still because it is, as you can see, an absolutely glorious day for the end of March. Easter bank holiday so yeah a little bit nervous but it's just the unknowns that I'm more worried about you know I've definitely got you know food definitely got enough water um, you know I should be warm enough the tent will be fine it's just more the unknowns you know what if you know aliens decide to drop by one of the farmers fields and make some crop circles and abduct me at the same time you know what if the Somerset gimp has made his way up here and I'm trapped in a mummy sleeping bag you know, unable to resist. These are the things that go through my head. You know, let me know what you're scared of down in the comments. They're the things that I'm scared of, but I think uh, first things first, I need a bit of a drink because I'm sweating. It was a bit of a, a messy, a messy journey coming here. A lot of it's, uh, some of it's flooded because a lot of the rain we've had, you know, the gators and the trekking poles came very much in handy there, so. You know, I'm going to have a quick drink, I'm going to t set the tent up, so let's get to it. Okay, so the tent that I've got with me is the OEX Hyena 2. I've repackaged this into a dry bag, I've made it a little bit more compact so it fits in my backpack better. It's certainly not the smallest of tents, and it's certainly not the lightest, but I got this for around 50 quid from Go Outdoors. I got it in January and it was in the sale and it was had an extra 20% off. So I got it for about 50 quid, which to be honest with you, considering the tent that it is and how it looks, it seems pretty good for 50 quid. So it's certainly not gonna be put to any extreme tests while we're here. We're very sheltered here, you know, and it is a lovely, a lovely evening. So it's not gonna be put through any extreme tests, but we shall see. Now just keep looking around and see if there's any people here because I'm a little bit nervous still. So we'll, uh, we'll get this tent up and then hopefully once I've started cooking some food and chilled out a little bit, it'll be a little bit more relaxed. But let's get this set up. I'm not sure why there's a big gap there it seems like there's not enough material <laughs> uh, not sure maybe that'll change if I get it out unsure but we're near enough there it is pretty much set up I haven't got enough of the decent tent pegs so I'll just have to use the the shit ones that come with it these things really are shit but uh it'll do for now but yeah not sure about that it's probably operator error it's probably something to do with me but uh, it'll do for tonight. I don't think we're gonna have any extreme conditions, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, this is just 100% operator error. I think it's just this strap here. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it needs to go through that ring instead. It's probably that. I don't think it really needs doing right now. I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world, but I might mess around with it in a minute. <laughs> We'll ignore this for now, but everything else, I don't think, looks too bad. Sun's just about to start going down. And yeah, this is the setup for tonight. That's time, I think it's uh, time to get everything in and then it's time to relax. Food on, I'm gonna grab some water. I've got my water filter with me. I'm gonna grab some water from the, uh, there's plenty of water sources around here. So we're gonna grab some of that and then we'll get cooking.
I'll tell you what, there's nothing better than getting a pair of sweaty gaiters off. Shout out gaiters, but there's nothing better than getting a sweaty pair off after you've walked a couple of miles. Right, so that is my sleep system set up. I've got my thermals for later, spare change of clothes. If I have got a sleeping bag liner just in case I get cold, I'm quite a cold sleeping person and a cold person in general. So we shall see about that. But food, let's talk about food. We'll do that outside. Okay, food. I brought quite a bit of food with me, but I think I think it's needed. <laughs> I have got some British Army ration packs. I got a full like pack of these. I'm probably going to do a separate video on them at some point. But uh, I have a Rajma Masala curry with long grain rice. And for dessert, there is some chocolate orange mini cookies. Uh, I've also got a hot chocolate for later. I've got some oat digestive biscuits, whoops, with some jam. So kind of like some, uh, some like jam on toast for tomorrow morning. I've got coffee, I've got some Reese's chocolate peanut butter egg things in there. So that is dinner. I'm gonna get this cooking in a minute. I'm probably gonna go grab some water from the, uh, it's like a little waterfall over there. I'm gonna grab some water and I'm gonna get these boiling. Now the thing is, I am a curry connoisseur, I would like to think so anyway, so I'm very excited for a curry. I don't know what it's going to do to my insides tomorrow morning. <laughs> we know what curries are like, but I'm very excited for this, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm a little bit more relaxed now. I felt a little bit stressed on the way here. And I think that was probably due to the unknowns of if someone might already be camping here, or, you know, if... I might have seen somebody along the way that had a problem or if someone walked past, but I honestly don't think I've seen a single soul. So that is very helpful. That has done me the, one, the worlds of good. On my sleep system set up, it has gone a little bit cold and the sun's gone down. I don't even know what time it is. No idea. But yeah, very cool. I'm gonna go get some water and then we'll get cooking. Water acquired. I do have, uh, I do have actual water with me. I've never used a water filter before, so I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna see how it tastes. I am slightly apprehensive. It actually tastes like some of the best water I've ever had. <laughs> better than that manchester bloody chlorinated stuff anyway so this is more for drinking i've got water for cooking and for uh, hot chocolate and brews and stuff so this is just more for drinking apart from being slightly plastic i would not know that was off a random waterfall in the middle of the woods <laughs> i'm not really in the woods i'm in the hills i'm just off to the side Anyway, I'm gonna get this cook system set up. I can't even speak, I'm that like discombobulated. I'm gonna get this cook system set up. I'm gonna get the water boil. I'm gonna get this curry on and then uh, I'll check back with you then. I'll check back with, I can't even speak. I will check back in once the water's boiled and the curry and the rice is in. <laughs> oh, now I'm just waiting for that to come up to the boil. That'll stay on for, I'll probably put it on for like 10 minutes or so. And then, yeah, I've actually got a, a little bowl to put it in as well because curry and the rice, I didn't want to uh, 
just like pour them into the bag. So I have got a little bowl with me. And I think I'll make a hot chocolate after that before I go to bed. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's probably about half six-ish. Nearly seven o'clock. It looks like the sun's over there somewhere. It looks like it's gone down, so... It's got to be about half six-ish. Hopefully no one's going to come by now. I can... It's definitely gone a little bit cold. I can see my breath now, so... I don't feel cold. But, uh It definitely seems like it's gone a bit cold. Yeah, once this comes up to the bowl, we'll get this on for... 10 minutes and then it's just chilling baby I think the trick is with this is trying not to put too much water in it so it boils over I think I've just about got it right I had to pour a little bit out it was getting a bit uh, hectic we'll see he says that as it jumps out of the pot it's okay I'm far enough away for it so it's not going to scold me we'll be fine we'll survive we've done worse things it is vibrating quite a lot it's shaking should I be concerned? Okay, it is getting very dark, so I'm probably gonna try and dish this up. So it's done. I'm gonna dish this up, eat this, and I'm gonna get in the tent. Look at that. Now we're talking. Now what I wanna know as well, how do you eat your curry? Do you have like half and half? I know I haven't done a very good job here, but do you half and half or do you just kind of send it? I used to be a send it kind of guy and then all of a sudden I became a half and half. Not sure why. Taste test. It smells absolutely amazing. It's certainly warm. Do you know what? As far as curries go, it ain't bad. I've actually had worse curries in Indian restaurants before, you know. So, that's actually not bad. If this is what our armed forces are living off, then they're doing all right. When I got the head torch, there's uh, not a lot left in there. It was very good. That was very enjoyable. I think probably what I'll do is, I'm going to tidy up a little bit, get everything set. Is this quite Blair Witch or is it? I can't tell. I'm gonna get everything tidied up a little bit, probably get a hot chocolate on while the water's boiled and get myself in the tent, get snug, get chilling. I'm in the tent, hot chocolate acquired. I feel like this is gonna be dessert to be honest with you. I might not have the uh, little orange chocolate biscuit thingies. We'll see, I might have them later. Because I don't even know what time it is. I, I keep forgetting to check the time. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> All I'm looking forward to right now, to be honest with you, I think, is having this, lying down on that sleeping bag, getting in the sleeping bag, and just chilling out. You know, whether I watch something on my phone or whether I listen to a podcast or something. This is brilliant. You know, I haven't really shown much of where I am, like the surrounding areas. It's kind of all been a focus on just getting the tent set up and cooking. I did come quite late and the sun goes down at like half six. So I spent, you know, I set off at like half past four. Probably took me like an hour-ish to get here. 45 minutes, an hour to get here. So yeah, I probably had like an hour of messing about and not really sure much of the scenery, but it's been my first camp, you know, we'll see. There we go, my legs are crossed now, I'm chill. <laughs> well, that is me fully in the tent. I am changing to my thermals. I have been to the toilet, not that anybody needs to know that, but I've done all that stuff. I think I'm going to be pretty much settled in for the night now. I'm probably going to get a podcast or something on the go, or maybe a film or something. I've got some stuff downloaded on my phone. And that's pretty much me for the night. I think it's about half seven-ish, so probably up for like another hour or two, and then I'm going to hit the hay. The sound of that water out there, I don't know if you can hear it from here, is pretty relaxing, so I don't think anything exciting is going to happen between now and then, so I'm pretty much going to be chilling. So I'll probably see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's about 20 past six. I didn't sleep the best. I think when I actually slept, 
I slept okay, but yeah, I woke up quite a lot. I don't know if that was just being uncomfortable or if I was just, I don't know. I don't think I was cold. It's strange that the only parts of like my body that felt like cold was my thighs. I don't know why. I did put the sleeping bag liner in, so I'm glad I did that. But yeah, I was never actually like cold. I just got like a little bit of like a, I felt a bit of coldness across my thighs for some reason. So maybe I'll have to look at getting some little down trousers, even though it's not really that cold. I think it's about five, six degrees, but I can definitely tell it's dropped considerably from like the 15 degrees that it was uh, yesterday afternoon when I set off. So I'm going to get myself up. I'm going to get a coffee on the go. And we're going to get packed up. I'm not going to stay here too late. Despite the fact I don't think anybody's going to be down this way for a while. But yeah. Time to get up. Time to get packed. Time to get moving. Oh, that is pretty much me packed up inside there. Definitely a bit of condensation on the outside. It's way warmer in there than it is out here, I'll tell you that much. Right, getting the coffee on and then I am out of here. Now, while that water's boiling, if you didn't know already, let me turn you on to Taylor's coffee bags. So if you like your coffee, like I do, I'm not a snob or anything, but I don't really like instant, but these coffee bags are pretty good. It's literally like a tea bag. You put it in the cup, put the water on it, let it stew for a bit, take it out, and you've got really nice coffee. It's basically like drinking filter coffee. So if you use a French press like a cafetiere, then you'll know what this tastes like. It's that similar uh, taste. So while that boils, I'm going to pack a few more bits away and get this in because I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty tired and it is pretty cold so it's well needed. plan's going to be get everything out the ground's a little bit wet it's not too bad but get everything out of the tent get the tent packed up get that in my bag and then repack my bag because the tent's got to go at the bottom because it's quite bulky so i can't really put the tent in last so everything's coming out tent's coming down everything's getting packed away Certainly way easier to dismantle this thing than it is to put it up. Not that it was particularly difficult to put it up, but you know, it's way easier taking it down. One thing I do know, those high gear pegs are crazy. I mean, I know the job is from not to come out of the ground, but you actually really have to tug them to get them out the ground. You know, we all have a good tug in the morning, so you know, what can I say about that? So they do the job really well. But yeah, I think for 50 quid, the OEX Iena 2 was brilliant, you know, it's easy to set up, easy to take down, there was no condensation on the inside, 
plenty of room. It is a two-man tent. Obviously, it was just me and my bag and stuff in there. So, what can I say? Did a really good job. You know, it's not the smallest, as in pack size, and it's not the lightest, but it's certainly doing the job for me right now. So, I'm more than happy with it. For a pack, the rest of everything away, something that came as well with the ration packs, you get like energy drink powders and stuff. Uh, this one is apple flavoured. I had a cherry one the other week and it was brilliant. So we'll see what Apple's saying. You pretty much just add this to water. No, uh, no frills. So I've used some of my filtered water and put it back into my thing here. So we're going to pour this in, we'll give this a taste test as well. Because I was going to drink this last night, but when it's saying energy powder, it doesn't say anywhere that it's got caffeine in it. However, it does lead me to suspect that it probably does. So, we'll see. I've already had a coffee, but it only get really touched the sides. That smells delicious. That tastes like really good apple juice. <laughs> I say I don't know if it's got caffeine in it, but that's a really good uh, electrolyte drink, if not. Mmm. That is super refreshing. Shout out army ration packs one more time. They're really good. Like I say you get uh, you get quite a lot of stuff you get drinks, snacks, you get three meals, you get uh, teas, coffees, like 20 quid with shipping. So I'll definitely be getting these army packs again. That like is pretty much me done. I'm gonna get everything back in the bag. We'll head on out. Leaving no trace that we were here. Apart from the slight footprint of the tent. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. My first ever solo wild camp. I survived. I didn't get attacked by the Somerset Gimp, aliens, no sheep, no foxes, no nothing. Survived. And it was so much fun. Very thankful that I've managed to get and do get to do this this weekend. Like I say it's fell nicely on the Easter weekend so I'm not back in work tomorrow <laughs> I've got tomorrow off so yeah I've got about 45 minutes ish to get back to the car so I'm going to crack on I'll film a little bit on the way back we'll see how it goes because it's a little bit treacherous because some of it's flooded but we'll see how it goes and thank you very much for joining And just like that, I'm on the home stretch. I've nearly made it back to the car. 40, 45 minutes, I don't think it was even that, to be honest, it was uh, way quicker than getting there because I wasn't going uphill. It was, majority of it was downhill. So yeah, that has been a momentous journey. Thank you very much for joining. If you have enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, you know, all that bullshit YouTube stuff, but 
appreciate it nonetheless. But yeah, thank you very much and I'll catch the next one. Much love.